damn it, man. I heard the People's Revolutionary Army was once a thousand strong. Now, what happened? They got government jobs. With this series, I really hope I haven't given the impression that, oh, this one woman that I'm covering speaks for all women. I firmly believe that women hate each other and look to sabotage each other at all times. So, no, no one. And I carried this philosophy through the entirety of the channel that no one individual can speak for the entire group of people. Like, that's just not how that works because groups which are always, which by necessity need to be filled with individuals, um, you know, they can't. Like, 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 no, no two people agree 100%, a million percent on anything. And if it seems like I'm stalling, it's because, you know, I am. As per usual, once I press play on this chick, because, yeah, I like, she can get it. As far as I'm concerned, she is, she ain't, you know, let's be real. We're not sitting here looking at the, the toppy, the toppiest of the notchiest, but we are, uh, you know, she, she ain't bad, she ain't gay, like, yo, I think ain't gonna, she's like, hey, what up, shit, I, like, yo, mommy ain't gonna sit there and just, like, nah, yo, <laughs> it never has, that's just, that's just not how he works, okay, so, yeah, strokes, like, all day, but there's, uh, the stupid that she says is why this, uh, video even exists, because this is some, this is some really magical type of stupid, so, guys, <sighs> Let's do it. When men say they want kids, I push. Why? First response I get is usually they want... Oh, crap, 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 crap. I didn't turn the volume up, man, due to the... It's like 12 seconds. I don't know if you heard what she said, but... Hold on, no. When men say they want kids, I push. Why? First response I get is usually they want to be a father. Makes sense? Okay, so, just so we're clear, she is wondering why men want children like she she like this is she says she's pushing she says she put she pushes against the idea of having children now i'm not sure how she's asian too so ooh. <laughs> she could be 17 she could be 58 who the hell knows sometimes yeah <laughs> for real but um you know like the like, the mere fact that this is a question in and of itself, like, why wouldn't you want to, or like, you know, the, the idea of having a family and, you know, uh, passing on your biology, I mean, sweetheart, this is not even the necessity, you're pushing against this, sweetie, this is a part of our biological imperatives, you know, like, I, like so the fact that she even has some argument against this like in the first place as it tends to do with these types of videos um you know it, it renders the rest of the bullshit coming out of your mouth completely mute because once again the the desire to spread your seed and have a bunch of kids and and and, and have not just a bunch but have a child at least a child is a part of our biological uh, makeup and what has kept civilization going for however long your so your your history of the world uh, dictates. But you can be a father to kids that are not biologically related to you. You could be a father figure. Cut that shit out. Okay, we're gonna cut this shit out. You can be a father figure, but you cannot replace that biological link. I'm sorry, as someone who's done it. All right, you, you'll never be what the biological father could have been, even if you do, you know, saying like, hey, yeah, you raise it from the moment it, it pops on out the womb when I will have you, regardless, you can never hold that the, 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 the same amount of weight, particularly if the kid knows, like if the kid doesn't know, then possibly, but if the kid is aware that they have a biological link out there that isn't you, it, there, there's no replacing that. I'm sorry, as much as, oh, my, the mom and stepdad may say, may try, may want that to be the case, unfortunately, as some, and this is coming from, and I'll be the first woman, I've ha I have both of my parents, I've knew both of my parents from the moment I was born to the day that they left this earth, so that's a different, um, so I do have a different stance on that, but I couldn't even begin to imagine 
not knowing them, either one of them to such a, to such an extent. So as much as you might want to think that, oh yeah, you could just step on in and replace that and replace and, and replace the biological father. No, no, you really fucking can't. Ask why it's important for their kids to be biological. So many say legacy. Isn't Game of Thrones? It isn't Game of Thrones, but the thing is, it should be. Like, <laughs> it should be. Like, Game of Thrones, like, what do you be? You'd be in somebody's brothel if you were lucky when I would have you, or you'd be a slave? You know, I mean, when you, when you sit here and, ask, and, and, and make stupid fucking questions and statements like that, you kind of, you kind of make us feel like, it should be fucking Game of Thrones, right? We should have great houses and shit. You know, that's because that's what it's supposed to be. Now, unfortunately, we live in, like, well, I, I don't know where this woman's from because she it could be Canada or some shit like that. But um, here in the great United States of America, trust me, whatever you build can be burned within a generation. Like, in, in half a generation, all that you don't put up, put up, gone. In a blink of, a, in a blink of an eye. Seriously, it's really easy to just squander um, resources in this great state. God bless capitalism, huh? But yeah, this idea that, you know, men shouldn't want legacies, this idea that, oh, yeah, the desire for a biological family um, in which you to, to, to call your own. No, it's not Game of Thrones. It's your bio. It's, it's, it's our biological imperative. It's something that I, I genuinely believe at our core, regardless of what we say, at, at some point, you know, because you, you, you know, uh, life is life. We all go through what we all have our experiences. And but at some point through his the course of his life, a man, a, a boy, the, the X chromosome, the testosterone will desire something to love, protect and provide for. And with the ultimate preference is it being of their own flesh and of their own blood <clears throat> but hey you may disagree so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like it also like this like go ahead do that too and i'll be scared of yourself if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitches like are the biggest fans you will hear for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from teespring check me out obviously as well links in the description ask you to go in the description box and do damage and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments uh yeah sweetheart deal is is that you know like honestly she can get it i like the, the, the more i'm kind of like yeah she could definitely get it but sweetie like this idea that like if you're barren just say so i mean I'll, i mean more fun for the rest of us right like if you can't have them cool great i mean trust me there are uses for you but but at the same time you know don't sit there and pretend as if there's something wrong with men who do want that outcome for themselves all right guys let me know what you think in the comment section and until the next one what makes you cheer? Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.